last time a tsunami hit California, it came from Japan, damaging more than 100 boats in Santa Cruz. The 9.0 earthquake in 2011 triggered a massive wave that traveled 5,000 miles across the ocean, causing damage up and down the coast as far south as San Diego. Look at that six by beam busted like a toothpick. A tsunami is more than just a big wave. A tsunami comes in and it keeps going over the beach, through the houses, over the bay. It just doesn't quit. Geologist Pat Abbott says a tsunami is more like a wall of water. It's not the height of the wave that concerns me as much as the fact that the wave is actually, it's the wall in front of a big sheet of water, and that water mass may be miles and miles across, and it's just gonna run and run and run. In 1964, a 9.2 quake hit Alaska, and as you can see from this archive film footage, the resulting tsunami wiped out Crescent City along the coast of Northern California, with a monster swell killing a dozen people who thought the danger had passed. In Crescent City, California, People evacuated up. They look down at their houses and businesses. They see one, two, three, four waves. They think, okay, I know what it is. I'll go down. A lot of them went down, and the fifth wave was the biggest, and all 12 of the deaths occurred with the fifth wave. Tsunamis can be triggered by earthquakes that cause large plates under the ocean to move upward, displacing huge amounts of water. The resulting wave can travel 500 miles an hour until it hits land, causing destruction and death. It may seem surprising to people, but the biggest risk comes from Alaska. Caltech seismologist Lucy Jones says this computer model shows what a 9.1 earthquake off the coast of Alaska could do more than 2,000 miles away in Southern California. The tsunami wave hitting as far south as San Diego with a height of about 6 to 13 feet. When we did this modeling, I think across the coast of California, $700 million of damage to small marinas and ports. As this computer animation demonstrates, many low-lying areas like San Diego's Mission Beach community would be underwater. In areas like Mission Bay, there everything's really very flat, you're very close to sea level, and you can see basically all of the Mission Bay area ends up under underwater. This here's Del Mar, and you can see that things really come quite far inland here. A tsunami triggered by a large offshore earthquake in the Pacific Northwest could destroy coastal cities in Washington and Oregon with very little warning. It would likely take five to six hours, however, for a tsunami triggered in that region to reach the southern end of the U.S., giving residents and tourists here enough time to get to safety. But Dr. Abbott warns if you live in or are visiting San Diego, don't get too comfortable. The tsunami is just a totally different phenomenon. A smaller but still devastating tsunami could be triggered by an offshore earthquake and underwater landslide, giving you only 10 minutes or so to evacuate. So just a block from the coast, if a tsunami were to come, we would be underwater? Oh yes, yes. While tsunami signs in beach communities up and down the west coast are often overlooked and ignored, Dr. Abbott says pay attention to the posted evacuation routes. They're designed to get you away from the coast but he says the key is to get to higher ground. This particular sign right here, we're, we're almost near Grand on Mission Boulevard, and they're saying go east. Uh, very frankly, I think where I am sitting here and I can see Mount Soledad a few blocks away, I would go north. When you don't have time to head inland, looking up could save your life. And then kind of look around and see what, what's my best bet. Oh, I could go up the third story, up those stairs, up to a third story building. That's pretty good, it's only a half a block away. Bottom line, if you're in any coastal town in the U.S. or abroad and you feel shaking or notice any abnormal ocean activity, get to higher ground fast. And unlike those who died in Crescent City, stay away. If you are at the beach and you feel very strong shaking, leave the beach. Right? Probably nothing's going to happen and all you have done is lost a day at the beach. But the potential upside is your life.